up too tight. No, it's fine. Thanks. A lot. Alright. Oh, um. Yeah. What's that? It's a birthday present. It's not your birthday. Happy own birthday then. Lovely. Where did you get it from? Mm, second hand store off market. Do you like it? It's lovely. But why? Why not? <laughs> Do you want a drink? Thanks. Well, go on then, try it on. Yeah, it suits you. Hey! I can't send you then. To a drink. No. Whiskey makes me sick. Oh, yeah, me too. Um. You're not on. Bunny chumps on your bike, you do you? Why? What in a lift are you? Over to see little Roy? No, thanks. He'll get done this time, love, you know. For sure. I don't think so. We're getting real fierce local magistrates round here. What well, teenage crime going on round Hartley? So where does that leave you, eh? You when mean? he does get sent down, I'll be all right. it'll be lonely for you. I'll be all right. That little boy lost look he has. That the attraction, is it? Brings out the mother in you. Perhaps. We could have a good time, you and me. If you're into it. Yeah, well, I'm not. Eh? Mm. Eh? Can I come in for a minute? Yeah. Could I have a word? See you around, kid. Soon. Come on your bike, have you? No, love. Spaceship. Don't think of driving it, will you? In that condition. I wouldn't dream of it, sir. I thought these might help to fatten up a bit. Oh. Thanks. I saw your mother. Yeah? If you let her have the money back, she won't press charges. Right. Thanks. You saw Roy then at the remand centre? Yeah. Dreary places, though, aren't they? And they're all the same, you know, except some are even worse than others. In fact, a pretty terrible prospect, actually. Knowing that someone like Roy is almost certain to spend a good part of his life in one or other of them. Unless he pulls himself out of it. But he listens to you, doesn't he? Sometimes. You should have a talk to him about it. Really have a go at him. You could be his last chance. You'd be surprised how early they crop up sometimes. Last chances. Nurse. Thank you. Just you think yourself lucky you didn't get summoned. What happened to your face? I walked into a wall. He's been hitting you again, hasn't he? None of your business. You must be stupid. Why do you put up with it, Mum? Do you get some sort of kick out of being knocked about or Arlene, something? I mean, don't start. You're too soft, that's your oh, shut up, will you, before he hears you. See, now, will you go first? Oh. No. You! 
Ouch. I'm warning you. You keep your hands off my mum, right? Out, I said. I mean it. You lay another finger on her and I'll get you. No, Bobby, no! Will you go? Well, come with me then, Mum. No. You're pathetic. Trash! All right. Can you remember what he looked like, Doris? Put his hand over my mouth. Oh, but I bit him. Oh, yes. Can you remember anything about him? Anything at all, love? Oh, it is through me. He had these rings. Big rings. Rings? Yes, on the hand that she bit. A whole fistful of them. One in particular stuck in her mind, in the shape of a letter D. D? Yes. D rings. How old did you say it would be? Late teens, early twenties. And they got away on a motorbike, right? Right, so? Yes. Yes, of course. Sit there, love, she won't be a minute. So now, what have I done? Nothing. I do hope. This is Detective Chief Inspector Logan. Yesterday afternoon, there was a boy at your flat. He had a lot of rings, including one with a big letter D on it. So? Friend of yours. Friend of Roy's. Why? There's been an incident. We've reason to believe that boy might be able to help us with our inquiries. What's his name? Dino. Dino? Italian, is he? That's his nickname. Well, what's his real name? John Forbes. Do you know where he lives? No. Sure? But do you know where he goes? Tends to hang about. Club, pub, disco. Well? Dino. Oh, yeah. Another one. Big lad. Fancies himself. He comes in here quite often. Is he here now? No. One of his mates is, though. Well, he was half a minute ago. Are you shooting with a foot? Go down, Bert. Do you reckon the old girl can identify you? No, I shouldn't think so. Well, supposing she can. But we don't even know if it's that job they're on about yet, do we? Just in case, eh? Hiya. Excuse me. I need a favour, love. Yeah? A big one. What? Yesterday afternoon when that policewoman was round here. If anybody asks, I've been with you all afternoon, all right? She put me in, you know, asking where you were. And you told her? No. Why not? What else did you tell her? Just where to find you. That's all. Did she say why she wanted me? No, do you know? All she said was that there'd been an incident and that you might be able to help. Right. right. If anybody asks, I've been with you all afternoon, all right? And you tell them that. Why should I? Because Roy's my mate, love. My best mate. And you're his bird. And even more important, because you've got a pretty face, love. At the moment. Oh, by the way, I've got necklace back. What? My necklace. Because I don't want doing for burglary and you don't want doing for receiving. All right, now give it here. Hello oh, there. Walk down our arcade, reckon she wants to talk to me about something. Mr. Lovin, Jordan. Show me your hands. Turn them over. You like rings, do you? You've guessed. You don't think they're just a bit sissy? You bet that's my girlfriend. I've never had any complaints from her. D for Dino, right? Yeah, that's fine. But real name, John. Why do they call you Dino when your name is John? <laughs> 